of His Majesty Emperor Maximilian the Most. He's called Maximilian the Most because he has the most clothes of anyone in the world. Oh, I better introduce myself first. I'm the royal court jester, and it's my job to make the emperor laugh. My name is Chester, or Chester the Jester. <laughs> All day long, I have to act funny. Chester the Jester, that's me. All day long, I act bright and sunny. Chester the Jester, that's me. I'm supposed to bring a laugh to everyone I see. But every time I bring a laugh, ha <laughs> ha! Everyone laughs but me All day long I play the buffoon Chester the Jester That's me Making people laugh like a loon Always a clown Never a frown You'll see he, 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 he. Chester the Jester And no Jester Bester And Chester the Jester As I was saying, uh, this emperor that I work for is called Maximilian the most because he has the most clothes of anyone in the world. He has different clothes for every hour of the day. H and just as you might say of a king that he is always counting all his money, our emperor is always counting all his clothes. Here comes the emperor now. His royal majesty, Emperor Maximilian the most! It's very amusing. Yes. Good morning, Your Good Majesty. Good morning, Sir William of Wardrobe and Sir Ivan of Inventory. Uh, quickly, what is the latest total of my clothes? Oh, of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> At the present time, Your Majesty has 4,000 royal shirts. 3,000 pairs of royal breeches. 2,000 pair of royal shoes. 1,000 royal neckties. 5,000 royal robes. And 250 royal crowns. <laughs> oh, dear. Tomorrow is the day of the great royal procession, and I have nothing to wear. Uh, send for the empress at once. Send for the empress at once. Send for the empress at once. <laughs> Her royal majesty, Empress Carlotta the least. <laughs> My dear, what are you doing blowing that trumpet? Well, it's like this, Max. You've been spending so much money on clothes that we had to let the royal trumpeter go. And somebody's got to play the royal fanfare, so I've been taking trumpet lessons. <laughs> Getting pretty good, eh, Max? Getting pretty loud. Yeah, but, my dear, you're the Empress. What will the people of the kingdom say? Well, I don't know what the people will say, but I know what I always say. What's that? If you want to get something done, you got to do it yourself. You got to blow your own trumpet. You got to toot, toot, toot your own horn. You got to tell everybody you're glad you were born. You got to be... Come right off of that shelf Because if nobody introduces you You gotta introduce yourself You gotta blow your own trumpet You gotta do, 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 do. You gotta tell everybody But I'm fine, you're glad you were born You gotta be your own drummer Come right off of that shelf Because if nobody introduces you You gotta introduce yourself
Tomorrow is the day of the great royal procession, and I must have new clothes to wear. Uh-oh. Here we go again. So I wish for you to arrange for the royal tailors to make me some new clothes. We don't have any more royal tailors. What? We had to get rid of them, too. I hate to tell you this, Max, but we're broke. <gasps> Good heavens. Then send for the royal treasurer at once. Oh, uh, we don't have any more royal treasure either. Well, what happened to him? Well, it's like this, Max. What do we need a royal treasure for if we don't have any more royal treasure? I'll keep the books. Oh. This is very distressing. I must have new clothes. Uh, then send for Sinister, the Prime Minister, at once. Him we still got. Send for Sinister, the Prime Minister, at once. Send for Sinister, the Prime Minister, at once. Send for Sinister, the Prime Minister, at once. Now, I don't like to say anything, Max, but I've been noticing the poorer we get, the richer Sinister, the Prime Minister, gets. Are you suggesting he's a pilferer? A what? A pilferer, a pilferer. What's a pilferer? <laughs> Thank you. A pilferer is a person who steals in small quantities. Then he's not a pilferer. Good. Because he's been stealing in big quantities. Sinister, the Prime Minister has arrived. Sinister, the Prime Minister has arrived. Minister, the Prime Minister has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, your majesties. Your wish is my command. Then I wish you'd get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Always having your little joke, my empress. Now, what may I do for my emperor this morning? Yeah, well, as you know, tomorrow is the day of the great royal procession, honoring the birthday of little Prince Lester the Lost, our son, who was kidnapped by bandits many years ago. Yes, poor little Lester the Lost. No one knows to this day if he's still alive. Eh, eh, eh. Little do they know that I, Sinister the Prime Minister, stole the prince when he was a baby and have kept him hidden away all this time. The prince was the only heir to the throne. So now when the old emperor dies, I shall become emperor. Eh, eh, eh. Ever since Lester the Lost got lost, I've lost all interest in life, except for new clothes. <laughs> and I must have new ones for the procession tomorrow. Now, I've been informed that the Royal Treasury is very low on funds. What do you suggest? Your Majesty is quite right. Yeah. You must have new clothes for the occasion, so I suggest that in order to obtain money, we sell some of the Empress's jewels. <gasps> that did it. No, now, look, he's he's right, right, right really, my dear, we'll sell some of your jewels, for I must have new clothes tomorrow. Now, since the royal tailors are no longer with us, we must find some new ones. Yes, Your Majesty. Prepare a decree. Find the best tailors in the land for I must have new clothes by tomorrow morning. It shall be done, your majesty. <laughs> so William of Wardrobe, write this down. Yes, your excellency. Hear ye, hear ye, a royal proclamation to all the population. New tailors must be chose, for the emperor needs new clothes. The emperor needs new clothes. The emperor needs new clothes. So send the word throughout the land that the emperor needs new clothes. The emperor needs a coat. The emperor needs a hat. He needs a vest and a ruffled shirt and a brand new silk cravat. He needs a royal pair of breeches. A garter here, a garter there. And please excuse me if I mention it, but he needs new royal flannel underwear. Take care! The Emperor needs new clothes. The Emperor needs new clothes. So send the word throughout the land. That the Emperor needs new silken hose. Satin shoes with fancy bows. Bells to jingle on his toes. Yes, the Emperor needs New tailors must be chose, for the emperor needs new clothes. Hear ye, hear ye, a royal proclamation. Did you hear what the royal guard just said? 
Yeah, I heard what the royal guard just said, boss. Do you know what this means? Yeah, I know what it means, boss. What does it mean? It means the emperor's looking for new tailors to make him some new clothes, boss. Very good. And do you know who those new tailors are going to be? No, I don't know who the new tailors are going to be, boss. They're going to be you and me. You and me, boss? You and me. But we're not tailors, boss. Of course we are not, yeah. stupid. We are the two greatest rogues and swindlers in all the land. We're the greatest swindlers in all the land. Shh. Boss. Now, we've been looking for a new opportunity, haven't we? Yeah, boss, a new opportunity. Well, here it is. Here it is, boss. How oh, stupid. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about, boss. Then listen and learn. We are going to pretend to be two famous tailors. Get it? Got it. Good. Good. We tell the emperor we are the greatest weavers in all the world. Get it? Got it? Good. Good. There's only one thing wrong, boss. Oh, what's that? I don't know how to weave or stitch or sew, boss. What did you say? I don't know how to stitch or sew. Or... Brilliant. That's it. We'll call ourselves Stitch and Sew. Stitch and Sew, boss? Yeah. <laughs> stitch and Sew. Stitch and Sew. Sew and Stitch. Who is who and which is which? You be missing. And I'll be Mr. Stitch Stitch and so, so and stitch Who is who and which is which I'll be Mr. So And I'll be Mr. Stitch So Quiet, I'm trying to think of one. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. Sometimes I wish I could disappear. Sometimes I wish I was invisible. Invisible? Brilliant! That's it! We'll pretend to be the only tailors who can weave invisible clothes. But then nobody could see them, boss. Oh, that's the idea, stupid. Get it? I got it. Good. Now, all we have to do is pretend we're weaving material. And I'll pretend I'm, uh, oh, stitching and sewing, and you can pretend you're, uh, Knitting. Knitting? How do I do that, boss? Oh, it's very simple. Here's all you have to do. Knit one, curl two, drop a stitch, then you're through. Knit two, curl one, drop a stitch, then you're done. Knit one, curl two, drop a stitch, then you're through. Knit two, curl one, then you are done. Get it? Got it. Good. Now you try it. Knit one, curl two, drop a stitch, then you're through. Knit two, curl one, drop a stitch, then you're done. Knit one, curl two, drop a stitch, then you're through. Knit two, curl one, then you are done. If you stitch, knit one, so curl two, so drop a stitch, stitch, then you're through. Who knit two, is who curl one, and which drop a stitch, which then you're done. You'll knit one, be missed, curl two, so drop a stitch, and then you're through. I'll then you're through. be missed, curl one. Get it? Got it? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Hear ye, a royal proclamation. The emperor needs new clothes. All tailors report to the palace at once. My good man, you are from the palace? I am, sir. We hear you're looking for new tailors to make new clothes for the emperor. Indeed we are, sir. Then look no further. I am Mr. Stitch and this is Mr. So. We are the two most famous tailors in the world. I have never heard of you. Stupid people never have, but all the bright and clever ones know of us. Come to think of it, I guess I have heard of you. I have of course you have. Now, take us to the palace at once. Right this way. Follow me. There. You see how easy it is to fool people? Yeah, boss. Now, we're going to get in, get it over with, and get out. Get it? Got it. Good. Good. We're going to get in, get it over with, and get out. Get in, get it over with, and get out. Stupid. Wow. Is the court sure in an uproar over the emperor's new clothes? They've already sold some of the Empress's jewels. Now all we need are the new tailors. Achoo! What was that? Achoo! Who's there? Why are you hiding back there? You come out at once. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean any harm. Who are you? I'm a scullery maid from the royal kitchens. Well, what were you doing hiding behind the throne? I'm just new here, sir, and I wanted to see what the throne room was like. Truly, I didn't mean any harm. Please don't report me. Well, I guess it's all right. I won't tell anyone. Oh, 
Thank you, sir. Oh, wait. What's your name? My name is Verity. Verity? That's a strange name. It's a name that means the truth. And do you always tell the truth, Verity? Oh, yes, sir. Well, my name is Chester, and I'm the Royal Court Chester. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Chester. And I'm pleased to meet you. Where do you live? I used to live with my aunt, but she died a short while ago. Now I live and work here in the Royal Kitchens. Don't you have any other family? No, now I'm an orphan. Well, that's too bad. I'm an orphan too. You see, I don't know who my real parents were, for I was raised by foster parents. After they died, the Prime Minister of this country came for me and brought me here and trained me to be a jester. Oh! Oh! Although I'm not a very good one, but I've been jesting away ever since. <laughs> <laughs> but you were saying you were raised by your aunt? Yes. Some people called her a witch because she had unusual powers. Before she died, she gave me a remarkable pair of glasses. See? When these you hold before your eyes, the truth at last you realize. With these glasses, you can always see the truth. How amazing! Ooh, what do you see if you look at me? Oh, well, I see a prince. Me, a prince? <laughs> Why, of course, I'm the Prince of Jesters. Let me look at you. Oh. Well, what do you see? See a princess. Oh, yes. I'm the princess of scullery maids. No. I see you as a real princess. Would you like that? Oh, yes. If I could be a princess, how lovely it would be. With acrobats and clothes to sing and dance. For me, if I could be a princess, I'd clap my hands and then I'd order lots of things to eat and never be hungry again. Alas, alack, I always forget. It's only a dream, and yet, and yet, if I could be a princess with a castle of my own, then a handsome prince on a great white horse would marry me.
quick, hurry, hide. Let oh. the royal court assemble! Let the royal court assemble! Majesty, two tailors have been found to make your new clothes. Oh, excellent, excellent. Who are they? They are Mr. Stitch and Mr. So, the two most famous tailors in all the world. Uh, oh, well, well, how wonderful. Show them in at once. Yes, Your Majesty, send for Stitch and So. Send for Stitch and So! Send for Stitch and So! Stitch and So, So and Stitch. Who is who and which is which? This is Mr. So, and this is Mr. Stitch. <laughs> well, welcome to our royal court, gentlemen. This is the Empress Carlotta the Least. <laughs> how do you do? Oh, how do you do? Oh, how do you do? Yeah. How do you do? All right, honey, <laughs> break it up, break it up, break it up. And I am the Emperor, Maximilian the most. <laughs> the most what, boss? The most what? <laughs> the most gracious Emperor in the world. Oh, charming. <laughs> well, as you know, tomorrow is the day of the great royal procession, and I must have an entire new wardrobe. It shall be done, Your Majesty, for we weave the very finest clothes imaginable. The finest, boss? Shh. <laughs> Not only are the colors and the designs unusually attractive, but the clothes made from our materials have the peculiarity of being invisible. Invisible? Invisible. invisible. Just Wait a minute. Now, what good are invisible clothes if no one can see them? Oh, well, Your Majesty, the clothes we make are invisible only to a person who is not fit for his post or who is hopelessly stupid. Oh, I say, they sound like wonderful clothes. I must have some of that stuff made up for me at once. Hey, can you have them ready by tomorrow morning? Well, let's see. Uh, that's a tall order. <laughs> tall order, boss. <laughs> and naturally, it will be very, very costly. Very costly, boss. No, never mind the expense. You will be paid in royal jewels. Yeah. And I put in the bill. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's sinister. Give them a list of what is needed and show them to the royal tailor quarters at once. Yes, Your Majesty. This way, follow me. Get ready, set to go to work. For the emperor needs new silk and hope. Satin shoes with fancy bows. Bells to jingle on his toes. Yes, the emperor needs to Oh, Verity, you may come out now. Are they gone? Yes. Did you hear about the new tailors making invisible clothes? I did, but I can't believe it. Well, neither can I. And I'd hate to see the emperor and the empress made fools of. They've been so good to me. Oh, what are we going to do? I know. Those glasses of yours. Of course. We'll wait till morning when the invisible clothes are finished. And then we'll look at them through the glasses and see if they're real or not. Oh, till the morning then. I'd be best be getting back to work. If you could be a princess With a castle all your own And if I were a prince On a great white horse I'd marry you Marry me And carry It's morning here at the Royal Palace, and everyone is up bright and early to see how the Emperor's new clothes are coming along. No one has been allowed to see Mr. Stitch or Mr. So since they were taken to the Royal Tailor Quarters. But everyone knows that they've been up all night working by something like 20 lighted candles in order to weave the new invisible clothes. They're making invisible clothes. They're making invisible clothes. So send the word throughout the land that they're making invisible clothes. There'll be an invisible coat 
There'll be an invisible hat, invisible vest, invisible shirt, invisible silk cravat. There'll be an invisible pair of breeches, of course. invisible garters here and there. And please excuse me if I mention it, but what? there'll be invisible flannel underwear. Two pairs. They're making invisible clothes. They're making invisible clothes. We'll send the word throughout the land. They're making invisible silken hosts, invisible shoes, invisible boats, invisible bells, the boats, the boats. They're making the emperor. I wonder how Mr. Stitch and Mr. So are getting on with the work. No one knows, Your Majesty. There's just one point that makes me rather anxious, Max. What's that? Namely, that anyone who is stupid or unfit for his post will never be able to see what the clothes look like. Not that we need have any fears for ourselves. No! no. Of course not. not. Never! Not, not us! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the city has heard of the mysterious power possessed by the material. <laughs> and everyone is eager to find out how incapable or stupid his neighbor really is. I think one of us ought to run over there and find out what's going on. The excellent idea. You're sinister. Take Sir William and Sir Ivan and, and go along over and see how Mr. Stitch and Mr. So are doing. We shall go at once, Your Majesty. And report back to me what you have seen. If there's anything to see. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. So, this is the life. Ah, this is the life, boss. Even if we did have to stay up all night and pretend we were weaving. Yeah, boss. <laughs> mm. And just think of all the royal jewels they'll pay us. And, and watch what happens when they start showing up here and can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> What'll happen, boss? What'll happen? They'll pretend to see clothes because they're all afraid they'll lose their jobs if they say they don't. Now, all we need is one high official and... <laughs> Open up in the name of Sinister, the Prime Minister. And here comes one now. Quick, pretend you're working. And, and for heaven's sakes, let me do all the talking. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that's good. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> oh, 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 you're welcome. Welcome, Your Excellency. Welcome, welcome. The Emperor has requested that we have a look in at how his new clothes are coming along. Of course, of course. As you can see, we're not quite finished yet. Oh. But please, look at some of the things that are ready. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now, Excellencies, if you would just sit there, we have finished the royal coat. The royal coat. The royal We've waited all wait night to see each other sit down so quickly. Really Isn't quiet. it magnificent? <laughs> Notice the cut of the shoulders, uh, the daring little tucks in the waist, and the flare of the back. Oh, oh, oh your excellencies, isn't that superb? Well, Not to mention the exquisite gold braid and the jeweled buttons. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yes. Good heavens, I can't see a thing. Can it be that I am stupid? Am I not fit for my post? Well, it will never do for me to say that I cannot see the new clothes, for then the emperor would think me unfit to be prime minister, and that would ruin my chances of becoming emperor when he dies. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of it? Oh, it's... Oh, Ooh, exquisite. Oh, well, what a pattern. What <laughs> colouring. I shall certainly inform the Emperor how pleased we are with it. Oh, we are glad to hear that, aren't we, Mr. So? Yeah, boss, glad to hear that. Well, we'd best be getting back to the Emperor and inform him of your uh, <laughs> remarkable talents. Yes, everything is just splendid. <laughs> splendid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. So, we've done it. We've done it, boss. We've done it. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
The Prime Minister and those stooges will tell the Emperor they've seen the clothes, <laughs> and everyone else will have to say the same thing or else be thought stupid. <laughs> now, everyone will say that they can see the clothes. <laughs> oh, Stitch can sew, so can Stitch. Still, I know we'll both be rich. Thank you, Mr. So. You're welcome, Mr. Stitch. <laughs> The Empress, quick, back to work, back to work, back to work, boss. The knitting routine, the knitting routine. Oh, 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 I love it, I love it. Oh, very good. Oh, come in, your majesty. You are most welcome. The prime minister says everything's just about finished, but the emperor thought I should have a look in as well. Well, well, well. Well, where are you keeping everything? Well, your majesty, look about you. There are clothes everywhere. Clothes everywhere. I can't see any clothes around here. Ah! Oh! Oh, in fact, if your majesty would please not stand on the new royal robe. Oh, it's very costly. Oh, was I on the royal robe? I'm sorry, I didn't see ah! it. Oh, 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 now, your majesty, you're standing on the emperor's new ruffled shirt. Oh, I uh, am? Oh. oh, good heavens, it must be my glasses. Oh, I think they need cleaning. Uh, oh, may I offer Her Majesty a handkerchief? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. There, that's better. Here, catch. <laughs> Thank you. And now, Mr. So, why don't you show Her Majesty what you are knitting? Knitting? Knitting. Oh, oh knitting. Oh, 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 sure, boss. I just finished. It's all done. Done, 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 done. Would you? Thank you. There you see, Your Majesty, the Emperor's new silk knit necktie. Yeah, the new silk neck necktie. Oh, the new silk knick knick neck neck. No, this new silk neck neck neck. Oh, the new silk tie neck neck neck. You mean the silk tie neck 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 but I can't see anything. However, I can't let Sinister, the prime knick-knack, I mean the prime neck-knick, well, anyway, I can't let him get ahead of me. So I better play along, or else someone will say that I am not fit to be the Empress. And now, Your Majesty, if, if you would be good enough to just sit right over here. Oh, why, I'd right be just, no. delighted. No. No. I think it would be better, much better, oh, right over here. Yes, the light is so much better for you. Yes, so. No. no. I think it would be much, much better right over here. If you would be so good, just sit right down over there. However... <laughs> and now, Your Majesty, we would like to show you the things we have finished thus far. Behold the robe, the royal robe, and notice the way it's designed. Oh, yes, it's too, too divine. Be going out of my mind. Behold the coat, the royal coat, in which the emperor will strut. Oh, yes, I love the way it's cut. I think he's some kind of a nut. Behold the vest, behold the hat, behold the shirt, the silk cravat. Behold the breeches, the garters here and there, and behold the royal flannel underwear. Take care! Behold the shoes, the royal shoes, the buckles are now the latest fad. They look like the best he's ever had. She thinks she's going stock raven. Must be going stock raven. Must, Must be going, going stock raven. I'd better be running along. <laughs> I see you fellas have a few things to tidy up around here. Uh, oh, yes, Your Majesty. Mr. So, Mr. So, please, if you don't mind. Uh, Your Majesty, please tell the Emperor that everything will be finished and ready for him in half an hour. Very well. Oh, and, uh, 
<laughs> you won't forget to bring the royal jewels, will you? Because uh, if we don't get those, there'll be no new clothes. Get it? Got it. Good. <laughs> Beautiful morning, Chester. Oh, it's a fine day for the royal procession. Did you bring the glasses with you? Oh, yes. Here they are. Oh, you're still a princess. And you're still a prince. I wonder why we keep seeing that as the truth. Perhaps it's because that's what we would like to see as the truth. Look through the glasses. See what is true. time for the Emperor to be trying on his new clothes. What do you plan to do? First of all, may I borrow those glasses for a while? Of course. I'm getting an idea, and I'll need your help. Please promise to hide behind the throne during the procession and be ready to appear when I call you. Well, if you say so, but I wish I knew what you were planning to do, Chester. Just trust me. Oh, well, now hurry! Let the royal court assemble! Quarters at once. The Emperor's new clothes are ready. <laughs> Announcing Her Majesty Empress Carlotta the Least. <laughs> Announcing Sir William of Wardrobe and Sir Ivan of Inventory. <laughs> Announcing Sinister the Prime Minister. <laughs> oh, Announcing His Royal Majesty Emperor Maximilian the Most. <laughs> I've had such wonderful reports about the new clothes. I must see them at once. Uh, but, Your Majesty, you're looking at them. Yeah. I am? Yeah, Max. They're right there in front of you on those hangers. Yeah, are you sure? Don't tell me Your Majesty cannot see the new clothes. Your yeah, Majesty, see the new... Yeah, of course I can see the new clothes. Now, I was just testing you all to find out if you could really see them. <laughs> Good heavens, this is appalling. I can't see anything. Can it be that I'm stupid? Don't answer that. Am I not fit to be emperor? This is the most 
terrible thing that could happen to me. <laughs> oh, they are indeed wonderful. <laughs> Magnificent. Delightful. They're superb. They have our most gracious approval. Oh, and now, if your majesty will go with Mr. So into the fitting room and be graciously pleased to uh, <laughs> remove your clothes, we will fit you with your new ones in there. Oh, well, of course, I'm most anxious to see what they look like on. This way to the fitting room, your majesty. <laughs> that way, <too. laughs> And now, Your Majesty, if you will be pleased to hand over the royal jewels as uh, payment for the clothes, we will be pleased to start the fitting. Here they are. Now get on with it. Get it? Got it. Good. Behold the robe, the royal robe, and notice the way it's designed. Oh, yes, it's too, too divine. Thank you. I must be going out of my mind. Behold the coat. The royal coat in which the emperor will strut. Oh, yes, I love the way it's cut. Oh, thank you. I think he's some kind of a nut. Behold the vest. Behold the hat. Behold the shirt. The silk cravat. Behold the bridges. The guard is here and there. And behold the royal flannel underwear. 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 Where? Uh, Mr. So? Yeah, boss? Mr. So? Um... What happened to the royal invisible underwear? Oh, I don't know, boss. I guess they're lost. Oh! Well, in that case, I guess he'll just have to wear the ones he has on. Oh. Behold the shoes, the royal shoes. And notice the buckles are the newest fad. They look like the best he's ever had. I must be going star crazy, must be going star crazy, must be going star crazy. Majesty, you may come out now. You look truly wonderful. Yes, wonderful, boy. The emperor has new clothes. The emperor has new clothes. Oh! Well, uh, how do they look? Oh, goodness, how well they suit you, Majesty. Oh, what a fit. What colors. What a sumptuous robe. Just as I thought, they're all pretending to see the clothes for fear of being called stupid or losing their job. But if I say anything now, I'll lose my job. I better wait and see what happens during the procession. Your Majesty, the royal procession is waiting to begin. Well, I guess I'm ready. And now, Your Majesty, since we have received our payment in royal jewels, we'll be on our way. Yeah, on our way, Just boss. a minute, boys. The two pages who usually carry the Emperor's train are much too stupid to be able to see it. So I suggest you two do it, since you can see where it is. Oh, but Your Majesty, we... Uh, Excellent uh, idea. Uh, Excellent idea. You will join us in the royal procession, and everyone will see the new tailors. All right, boys, pick it up. Oh, that's where it was. Is everybody ready? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. the royal procession commence! I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. Everyone can see the new clothes except the children. Oh, but your majesty, those children were not telling the truth. Oh, oh no, your majesty. The children were telling the truth. Chester, were... what does this mean? It means that you've been swindled by those two crooks. How dare you? Yeah, how dare you, boss? Shh. Your Majesty, this jester is obviously unfit for his job since he can't see the clothes. Oh, no, your majesty. I can prove that this has been a hoax. Well, how can you do that? With these magic glasses. Magic glasses? When these you hold before your eyes, the truth at last you realize, and if your majesty will look through the glasses, you will see the truth about what you have on. Oh, 
Merciful heavens, I have nothing on but my underwear. Quick, somebody bring me a robe. Sir William, Sir Ivan, quickly, the Emperor's Mr. robe. Stone, let's run for it. Don't oh, stop there. Don't let them get away. I'll deal with you two in a moment. But right now, Chester, you have our royal thanks for bringing us these wonderful glasses. But it was not I, Your Majesty. For the glasses were brought to the court by a little scullery maid. Scullery maid? What's oh. Verity, you may come out now. What? What? This, Your Majesty, is the rightful owner of the glasses. Mm. And, and even her name, Verity, means truth itself. Oh. Very well, Verity. You have our royal thanks for bringing us these wonderful glasses. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Say, Max, let me have a look through those glasses. Yeah, certainly, dear, but the swindlers have already been exposed. Well, I've got some more exposing to do. Oh, yes? Just as I thought. Well, what is it, dear? Sinister, the Prime Minister, is a pilfer. Oh. In fact, he's a double pilfer. Oh. oh, how dare you make such a statement. Well, what are you saying, dear? Not only has he been stealing from the royal treasury, but these glasses show that he is the one who kidnapped our son, Prince Lester the Lost. My stars, give me those glasses. What, is this a frame-up? It's true. It's written all over his face. No! Stop him! Can you get him? Get away! <laughs> I got a max. Good girl, Lottie. Yeah. Now then, Sinister, fess up. You stole the prince. Yes, he was the only one who stood in my way of inheriting the throne. Uh -huh. ah. Where is he? That you will never find out. He is very well hidden, and I will never tell. Sinister. You are a wicked prime minister. No. You are henceforth banished from the court. Ah, uh, why don't we chop off his head? No! Your Majesty, let me speak. Well, what is it, dear? I believe I know where the prince is. Well, what? tell us anything you know. If Your Majesty will but look through the glasses again, I believe you'll find that he is someone here in this very room. Oh, that's, awesome. oh, well, that's unbelievable. Oh, that's well, let's have a look, see. Oh, what? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, dear. Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Your Majesty. No, uh, I don't think so. No. But, yeah. Oh, come along now. Ugh. Oh. Can it be Chester? Me? Please, let me have a look through those glasses. It's true! Chester is Lester, our son! Baby! Mama! Oh! Oh! Oh, Verity, I'm really the prince. I'm Lester the Lost, only now I've been found. Yes, Your Highness. Curses on those glasses! Sinister, leave this court and never let me see your face again. Yes, but what about all the treasure he's stolen? <gasps> oh, let him keep the treasure, honey, for we've found our greatest treasure, our son. Uh, you heard him. Get going. Oh, no, Your Majesty, not that. <laughs> I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> going to do with these two swindlers? Oh, please, Your Majesty, let us go. Yeah, let us go, boss. If it hadn't been for us, you would never have found your son. Well, that's true. And I've lost nothing more than a little uh, royal dignity. Very well, you are pardoned. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but leave the royal jewels here. Oh, let them take them, Max. Oh, what are you saying, dear? Sure, open it up and help yourself to the jewels. Oh, you're too kind, Your Majesty. <laughs> yeah, too kind, boss. <gasps> There are no jewels in here. Oh, yes, there are. Those are the royal invisible jewels. Get it? Got, Got it. it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Lester, you must take up your duties as royal prince of the kingdom. Yes, my father. And my first duty is to select a royal princess. Verity, will you be my princess? Oh, yes, your highness. That's my boy! <laughs> Send word throughout the land. <laughs> Last of the lost has at last been found, and tomorrow there will be a great royal wedding. <laughs> Which, of course, I will need new clothes. Here we go again! <laughs> the emperor needs new clothes. The emperor needs new clothes.